This is Severe MMA. We're at UTC in Birmingham. We're alongside Ryan Hewitt, uh, four or five weeks out from MMAC2, and you've got Hamza Afridi from Fearless. Yeah. Hamza is a pretty good jits guy. His grappling is, and the Fearless guys have fairly good grappling. What else do you know about this? This is a kid we've seen fight before. Have you done any research of the coaches? Uh, no, nothing really. I've watched a few of his fights, and that's about it. Anything in, anything that you've seen that you, you know you have to be wary of? Is he dangerous in a particular place? Does he show patterns or anything? I don't want you to give a game plan away, but no, no. Uh, seems like he's got a good ground game. Uh, he's got got a good threat on the ground on the ground, but it's mainly about it. It's about it, yeah. Is the difference going to be is, is the difference going to be on the feet in this one? Do you think is this where the fight's going to be arguably more in your favor? I'm happy on the ground or on feet, uh, wherever it goes. That's a proper UTC answer, that yeah. is, isn't it? <laughs> you know, again, it's a Birmingham fight, two Birmingham, two Birmingham gyms, fearless, a well-respected gym, UTC, one of the most respected gyms yeah. in the country. You know, representing a UTC fight team that have, you know, so many names that people recognize it at various levels, does that put any pressure on a young fighter? Does that, or does that provide motivation? It provides motivation more than anything, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind. Of, I'm gonna play like really stupid here. Mm. Why, why, and how? What is it about? What is it about the coaches or the setup here? The, what is it that makes it, again young fighters? Because you've got a great fight team here. Yeah. What is it that brings guys like you, guys like Jake, to UTC? When there are other facilities. You've got the best around, the best facility, uh, the best coaches, the best fighters to train with. Got everything here. What can we expect to see? Like most U UTC fighters, the ones we see, they, 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 don't look to, they don't look to score decision wins. Is, is, is there any, are you bringing that to the table as well? Are you, you know, is that that UTC mindset that we look for the finish or are you a little more organic than that? No, definitely, I'm definitely there for the finish. Uh, so far in my thoughts, I haven't, I haven't shown anything what I can do yet, not, not whatsoever. So uh, I'm here to prove everyone what, what I can do this time. Suppose a stupid question. What does the perfect performance look like? You know, your hand being raised, but what does the perfect fight look like to you? What would it be for you? Just to win. Yeah? Just to win. Yeah. A win's a win. Doesn't matter how you get it, just win. When you're young in the career, early in the career, you know, the boxing analogy is we want rounds. Is, does that transfer to MMA for you? Do you it's, is it nice to get a couple in it, or, you know, those 30 second finishes, should they happen, you'll take them all day? Uh, I'll, I'll take them all day, yeah, I'll take them all day. <laughs> Seems like a stupid question, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's, what's the end game for you? Like, the UTC fight team, again, they produce guys that they, they win amateur titles, they win regional titles, they win, you know, national titles, and they, they're on the track at some of the biggest promotions in the world. What's the end game for you? Where would you like it to go? I'd love to go as far as I can, as far well, as I can. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to learn. I'm here to uh, get as good as I can, and I want to get as far as I can as well. And for, for a, an MMA audience that might, again, the amateur guys, you, you guys are always working hard, but perhaps not getting the exposure that you should for what you do. For the guys that haven't seen you fight, what do they expect from you? What kind of, you know, stylistically, what do you bring to the table? Where are you happy? Uh, I'm, I'm happy standing. I'm always happy standing, but I think I've got a, I've got a good ground game. It's improved a lot because of the, the, the people over here, the, the, the whole level on the ground. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy everywhere. This is the first time we've spoken. I get the sense you're, you know, just from talking to you, you're not going to talk crap about anybody. You're very no. sort of laid back. Hams is a good opponent for you. Yeah. Why? What is he going to, where is he going to make you work? He's gonna, he's, I, know, I know he's going to go to the ground. He's going he's gonna to try and make me work on the ground. But uh, I, think, I think he's a good fault here. I think, I think he's a good fault for me to have. February 25th, you get the win that you're looking for under the belt. What does 2017 have in store? Are you, again, are you in the same kind of mold as, as a Jake Hadley that wants as many fights this year as you can get? Are we looking for a March-April fight? Yeah, definitely. I want to I wanna get, get this win, and then I want to have as many fights as I can this year. As many fights. Thanks, Ryan. Ryan Hewitt takes on the hands are Freddy. MMAC, February 25th in Birmingham. A great amateur contest. Look forward to seeing you. Thank, Thank you. you for your time, sir. Cheers.